Hello everyone, my name is Madison and welcome back to Hop and Help and happy holidays everyone. Hope you're having a great time hanging out with your family or your friends or your animals like I'm hanging out here with Wally who is the newest member to the Hop and Help family. He's a Chuck Walla and if you didn't see yesterday I posted a video about meeting him. So since I can't give you guys a gift in person, I thought wouldn't it be pretty awesome if I posted one of the coolest videos on Hop and Help today? So today I'll be showing you every single one of my animals in the December Frog Room Tour. Let us begin with the Firebelly Toads. 11 frogs live in a 40 gallon tank. It's 75% water, which I found they enjoy. Some frogs are over eight years old. These guys are also my very first exotic pet. Next we have Pickle, a female veiled chameleon in a 16 by 16 by 30 inch open air enclosure. I've been nothing but good to her, but she does not enjoy my presence. She does love her humidifier though. It is from Evergreen Pet Supplies and is available on Amazon, link down below. Under her enclosure is where I keep my feeders. Typically I have half inch crickets, but they only had quarter this week. We go through about 2,000 crickets every three weeks. Next is Irwin, a chameleon forest dragon. He lives in a 32 gallon curved vivarium. Though he might look a little scary, he is my most friendly lizard. In fact, I'm editing this with him on my head. Above him is Kiko, the red eye tree frog. Sadly, Miss Myers passed away last week from an unknown reason. Kiko likes to hang out in the corner of his 35 gallon hexagon terrarium, also under the leaves of a plant that thinks it's fall. Kiko is a little shy, but extremely phonogenic. Next is Gord, the couch's spade foot toad living in a 10 gallon tank. He loves his big water bowl so much he sleeps in it. He's a goofball. I mean, look at that smile. Next is Oakley, the dwarf African bullfrog. He got his name from his giant eyes. He lives in a 10 gallon tank and has a huge water bowl just like Gord. He is a bit shy too, but super chubby and of course very cute. Next is Esmeralda, a green tree frog who recently lost her good friend Emerald from old age. I'm looking to get her a new buddy soon. She lives in a 10 gallon tank. I use a dessert bowl for her water because she likes the view. She is super curious and loves to look out windows. Below them are the cane toads, cheesesteak, cheesecake, and cheese stick. Though they have an entire 40 gallon breeder to live in, they all clump up in this little hut. They aren't the best at taking pictures because they pee all over set. Whoops. On the other side of the room, we have the four Cuban tree frogs, Lulu, Mr. Burns, Lemon, and Barkley. They live in a 40 gallon terrarium. They hide behind the leaves in the day, but explore their tank at night. They're very vocal and social. Next to them is A, the African clawed frog in a 10 gallon aquarium. He has one eye from an infection he got due to being dyed green at a pet store. Now he is all better and loves swimming and eating. His favorite thing to do is hide under the grass in his aquarium. Next to him is the seven whites tree frogs, Mark, Jack, Felix, Ethan, Macho, Mush, and Murph. Their favorite place in their 40 gallon terrarium is this skull and their second favorite place is this water bowl. These guys have huge personalities and love to eat. Below them is our new guy Wally, the Chuck Walla. He has a 50 gallon tank to grow into. I am currently in the process of finding him another awesome wood piece for the other side of his cage. He is super friendly and loves the noises the camera makes. In what we call the frog nook, we have the southern toads Dump Truck and Wren. They live in a 20 gallon tall. Both of these guys are super shy and hide in their log when I walk by but we'll make an exception if I have some crickets with me. They love to eat. Next to them are the rain frogs, Porg and Fritz. They live in a 2.5 gallon tank. They spend the majority of their time under the substrate, but will come up and soak and eat every once in a while. They just have the cutest grumpy faces I've ever seen. Next to them is Swoosh the Mediterranean Gecko. Why Swoosh you might ask? Well, that's the noise it makes when it runs. Swoosh is super shy and I've only been able to get one picture. She was rescued from a crack in a door frame. She lives in a 20 gallon tall tank. Below her are the famous Texas toads, Vinny and Frankie. They live in a 20 gallon long. They spend their time eating, sleeping, and arguing like old women. Don't believe me? Watch lunch, link down below. They're starting to look a bit like pancakes or Texas toast. Next to them is Squish, a leopard gecko. She lives in a 20 gallon long. Her favorite things to do are eat and sleep in the sleeves of my shirts. She's super friendly and very photogenic. I mean, look at that smile. Below her are the two golden tree frogs, Nana and Hollywood. They live together in a five gallon tank. In the day, they spend their time in the log and at night, they chill in the water bowl. These two are really laid back and enjoy sleeping. 
Next to them is one red-legged climbing frog named Peach. She is also pretty calm. She enjoys sleeping and soaking in her water bowl. Peach is very photogenic and loves to show off her colorful legs. If you enjoyed you not to do, leave a like and subscribe for more and have a happy holiday. Goodbye.